still on the course of linear algebra, still on the chapter of linear dependence basis and dimension. And in this video, we are going to introduce the, this replacement lemma. So suppose we have this set of vectors, v1, v2, v3, vn. And let us say that this set of vectors, they span the vector space v. And we pick another set of vectors, independent vectors, w1, w2, w3, wm this set of vectors being all independent. So if this happens, that means that m has to be smaller or equal to n. So this m has to be smaller or equal to n. And we can say that v is spanned by, you can, you can write it this way, right? Spanned by a set in this form, um, w1, I, I don't need this, okay, spanned by w1, w2, till wm, right, and the v's will be vi1, vi2, right, till vi n minus m, m minus m. Okay? So if we have this uh, set of vectors, v1 to vn, and they span v, and in the same space we have this set of independent vectors, w1, w2 to wm, so m is to be smaller or equal to n, and the vector space v will be spanned by this set of vectors. So, if this one spans V, that means that if we have any other set with any plus n plus 1 vectors, right, they have to be dependent. Okay? If a space is spanned by a set of n vectors, right, any other set with n plus 1 vectors will be dependent. So connected with this replacement lemma, we have this very uh, simple theorem that says, let V be a finite dimensional vector space. Okay, so if we are not talking about infinite dimensions, okay, we are not in functional analysis here. So, let V be a, a finite dimensional vector space, then every basis of V has the same number of vectors. So, if you have a basis for a given um, finite dimensional space, any other basis has to have the same number of vectors. This is a basic result from linear algebra, so I'm not going to produce any, any proof. Another theorem uh, connect, connected with uh, both theorems is this one. Suppose V1, suppose you have this set, V1, V2, V3, Vm. And this set is a maximal independent subset of a set V. Sorry, this shouldn't be V, right? No, this shouldn't be V. Sorry. This should be S, right? This should be S. Okay. So, suppose V1, V2, Vn is a maximal independent subset of a set S, okay, where S spans a vector space V, V is the, the vector space, okay? Then V1, V2, V3, Vm is a basis of V. So basically, if this is a maximal independent subset of a set, 
and that set spans a vector space, then that will be a basis for the same space.